Hi, welcome back to Brooks's Base Corner. Today I have for review this Yamaha BB235 passive five string bass. But before I do the review, if you're enjoying the reviews and videos on the channel, please hit the subscribe button below. Hit the notification bell so that you're notified when I release new videos. And please give the video a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments about the bass or the video, leave them below and I'll come back to you as soon as I can. I hope you enjoy the review. The BB range of basses from Yamaha are a consistently popular bass, and with good reason. They follow all the hallmarks that set Yamaha instruments apart. Consistent build quality, a great range of usable bass tones, substantial construction, and premium playability. I could go on and on. 
Coming in at the lower end of the BB bass range, it's no surprise that this bass doesn't have the glitz and glamour of the more expensive models, and being made in Indonesia instead of Japan, some areas lack the attention to detail that you might expect of a Yamaha bass, which I'll come back to shortly. In terms of playability and sound quality, the BB-235 is a solid performer, displaying all the qualities that the BB range is noted for. Playability is very good straight out of the box, and the action and intonation are spot on. Balance is very good, and the bass is comfortable to wear and play. In terms of sound quality, the passive tones are warm and rounded, with plenty of weight behind them, no matter what your preferred playing style. Both pickups perform as you would expect based on their positioning and the simple control setup of two volumes and a single tone control means dialing in your preferred tones is very simple. As you will have heard from the demo clips there is a varied array of tones to enjoy so whether you're looking for a balls to the wall rock tone with plenty of heft, a funkier tone with some mid-range honk from the bridge pickup or a bright percussive tone, the BB-235 is capable of delivering all of these. The low B string performs adequately, but without the tonal benefits of active electronics, the power and character needed to make the lower register notes stand out is a little lacking in my opinion. The notes are there, but they aren't as clearly defined as you would hear from an active bass. But if you aren't looking for that sort of definition, then you may be more than happy with the low beast performance. Okay, so a couple of areas lack the attention to detail I would usually expect of a Yamaha instrument, no matter what its price tag. Firstly, the bass exhibited several sharp fret edges, especially on the underside of the neck. Secondly, the bridge pickup was noticeably loose and rattled around inside its cavity despite screwing it down, which just adjusted the height, not its stability. And thirdly, the B-string machine head had a loose-fitting tuner that can't be easily secured as the following video shows. It doesn't affect the amplified performance of the bass, but acoustically it's very annoying for the player, and it's not something I've ever experienced on any Yamaha bass I've played. These points aside, the BB-235 is a versatile bass with plenty of pluses going for it. It offers good value for money, with a very usable tonal palette, and the noted shortcomings aside, if you're looking for a first foray into the world of five string basses, or simply want a solidly performing bass, then add the BB-235 to your shopping list. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button below. Hit the notification bell so that you receive notifications when I post new videos. And please give the video a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. If you have any comments regarding the bass or the video, leave them below and I'll come back to you as soon as I can. Look forward to seeing you here again on Brooks's Bass Corner.